A stroke can happen anywhere in the brain. Not all strokes present the same. It's important to know the symptoms in order to identify all strokes and to avoid delay and ensure prompt care. Current guidelines suggest the use of a stroke assessment tool such as FAST-ED for identification of additional types of strokes beyond the Cincinnati Pre-Hospital Stroke Screen. Let's explore two very different possible patient scenarios. Peter experiences a sudden loss of consciousness while at work and a coworker calls 911. EMS notices evidence of an obvious large left-sided stroke due to the severity of the symptoms using the Cincinnati Pre-Hospital Stroke Scale. They give pre-notification to the hospital and the stroke team is immediately activated upon their arrival. A CT scan and CT angiogram are done first, showing a large vessel occlusion. A large vessel occlusion, or LVO, is a cerebral occlusion in the internal carotid artery, ICA terminus, middle cerebral artery, M1 MCA, vertebral artery, or basilar artery. A CT perfusion scan is done next, showing that the patient is eligible for a thrombectomy. Alteplase and thrombectomy treatment for stroke is begun without delay. Robin is experiencing a posterior stroke and calls 911 complaining of sudden onset dizziness and blurred vision. EMS uses the Cincinnati Pre-Hospital Stroke Scale, but no stroke is identified. She is brought to the ER without a stroke alert or stroke team activation. Instead, Robin waits in the ER area for triage. As her symptoms progress to confusion and slurred speech, a stroke evaluation is prompted. A CT scan is done showing a completed posterior stroke, therefore Robin is out of the window for treatment. Delays in stroke identification can lead to a bad outcome. Let's take a look at the facts. More than one third of posterior circulation strokes are initially misdiagnosed. Ischemia is when blood supply to a part of the body or organ is decreased. Ischemic strokes comprise 87% of all strokes. And of those, 20% are posterior strokes. The five most common symptoms of posterior strokes are dizziness, unilateral limb weakness, dysarthria, which is difficult or unclear articulation of speech that is otherwise linguistically normal. It can be slurred, slow, and difficult to understand. Other symptoms are headache, nausea, and vomiting. It's most often a combination of two or more symptoms rather than just one. Stroke is the leading cause of disability. Patients who arrive at the emergency room within three hours of their first symptoms often have less disability three months after a stroke than those who receive delayed care. In the United States, around 795,000 people suffer a stroke each year, and someone has a stroke every 40 seconds. Every second of an ischemic stroke, 32,000 brain cells die, and every minute that number jumps to 1.9 million brain cells. So what is the Enhanced Fast ED tool? It's a new assessment tool to help identify the strokes that are often missed. Since we're all familiar with the FAST acronym, the ED will help trigger the identification of both large vessel occlusions and posterior strokes that are often missed, as these symptoms can be sudden onset. F is for face. Have the patient smile and show their teeth, since showing your teeth involves more muscle movement and can help truly identify a facial droop. A is for arms. Have the patient raise both arms at the same time with palms up to the sky in order to identify arm weakness or drift. S is for speech. Is the speech slurred or absent? Listen to the patient's responses and ask orientation questions. T is for time or terrible unexplained headache. Call 911 with no delay. Identify the last known time the patient was well with the help of the patient, their family, or witnesses of symptom changes. E is for eye deviation or vision changes. Is the eye gaze deviating to the left or right, or are the eyes not moving together? Is their vision blurred? Look for an astagmus, which is rapid involuntary movements of the eyes, and check for identification of objects. D is for denial or dizziness. Does the patient have disregard for one side of the body or unrelieved dizziness? Watch for neglect of a body part. If the patient is disregarding or not noticing the other side of their body, and ask about sudden dizziness or how and when it started. All of these symptoms can come on suddenly. Now let's rewind and try this tool on our two patients. EMS asks Peter about his symptoms using the FAST ED tool and identify that he is experiencing numbness on the right side of his body. They promptly call in a stroke team activation to the hospital. When Robin tells EMS about her dizziness and blurred vision, they recognize these symptoms from the FAST ED tool, prompting a pre-notification to the hospital in order to rule out stroke. The stroke team is activated upon arrival and Robin receives prompt stroke care. This time, 
Robin is able to receive Alteplace and ultimately a better outcome. Let's follow the stroke code pathway from start to finish. Start with a pre-notification to the hospital as soon as possible. Do not delay. A stroke team will meet you upon arrival at the ER doors or triage. The stroke team will then perform a neuro evaluation followed by a CT scan and treatment options such as Alteplace and thrombectomy. When dealing with a stroke, time is of the essence. Understand the importance of the enhanced FAST ED stroke assessment tool in order to identify all strokes to avoid delay and ensure prompt care.